The Atmos 2000, a self-propelled gun howitzer system developed by Soltam and later integrated into Elbit systems, was initially introduced as a private project. This Israeli artillery system was unveiled in 1999, with official details emerging in 2001. Primarily intended for export, an undisclosed overseas customer ordered these artillery systems in 2003. In 2006, the Atmos 2000 underwent testing with the Israel Defense Forces, and deliveries to Thailand began in 2013. By 2016, sightings of this artillery system were reported in Rwanda. Equipped with a 155mm-L52 gun howitzer, the Atmos 2000 originated from the Soltam Athos 2052 towed howitzer, incorporating a loading assistance mechanism. It accommodates standard 155mm NATO ammunition and can reach a maximum firing range of 30km with standard HE projectiles, 41km with extended range projectiles, and 56km with newly developed rocket-assisted projectiles. The system carries up to 32 projectiles along with their charges and boasts a firing rate between 4 and 9 rounds per minute. The Atmos 2000 offers options for various guns, including a shorter Soltam 155mm-L39 and 155mm-L45 guns. Depending on customer preferences, the artillery system can also be fitted with a Soviet M46 130mm gun. With an advanced fire control system, the Atmos 2000 gathers target data from forward observers and incorporates navigation, aiming systems, and a ballistic computer. Typically operated by a four-member crew, including two loaders, the vehicle's armored cab shields the crew from small arms fire and artillery fragments. Built on a Tatra T815 VVN 6x6 truck chassis, the vehicle is powered by a 315 horsepower diesel engine. An auxiliary power unit supports firing preparation, weapon elevation, traverse, and the load assisting system when the main engine is off. Manual operation is possible in emergencies, and the system can be airlifted using a C-130 Hercules tactical transport aircraft. An alternate version of the Atmos on an 8x8 truck was showcased but hasn't received production orders. Variants, the Thai Army's version of the Atmos, featuring several enhancements, emerged through collaboration with Thailand's military industry. Starting development in 2012 and revealing the truck-mounted howitzer in 2013, this model has a shorter 155mm-L39 gun and automated systems. Operated by three to four crew members, it's known simply as Atmos, with plans for local production in Thailand. Atrum, the Romanian variant on a domestically developed 6x6 truck chassis, didn't secure production orders. KRYL, a Polish truck-mounted howitzer, uses the ordnance of the Atmos 2000 on a Jelks 6x6 truck chassis. It was unveiled in 2014, 